what is good everybody my paper moon fam it's your boy paper sin back with some more hogwarts legacy so let's dive right in see what this game has in store for us but i'm really feeling the uh you know what i'm saying the dark arts route i like it <laughs> Hello there. Okay, there we go. What's up, bruh? Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, it's I all do. gobbledygook. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. Mm. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, yeah, no. Really? I'm so looking forward to it. Hmm. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait Hopefully you're to good confirm at it. subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me, being self-taught and all. Not bad. Self-taught. You said you know gobbledygook. Self-taught. How no. well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. Self-taught. My no. parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. Hmm. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. <laughs> so I will meet you there. How are you gonna check the pronunciation? Anyway. What's up, bro? A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Yeah. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Earthbot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Mm. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in Ooh. retrieving it. Uh oh. Yeah, I should have expected it. He had no choice. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends <laughs> with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Fair Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Damn Bragbor, him! An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. Okay. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. He must. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. Okay. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repository? A jupe? Large, magically a fortified oh. receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Mm. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, okay. and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, does he now? wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Fair enough. Ranrock yeah, was convinced reason. that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. Oh. He That's was, it. is, determined to take it for goblin kind. Okay. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Yeah, that, that was going on for a while. It is an honor, <laughs> sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant <laughs> to be gobbledygook. <laughs> I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects Wait, differ. Guessing. Pronunciation is not the issue. <laughs> I barely recognize that as language. Damn. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, sir <laughs> Lodgok. Just Lodgok. 
Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, yeah. since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? Why can't you? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I, know my I, I like my hat. A careless loyalist may have left plans behind. I like my hat. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. You like All my hat? you need to do is not be seen. Okay. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Hmm. So uh, stealth mission. Stealthy. All right. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. Okay. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. It's not. We're ready. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. All right, bro, let's go. I shall see you soon. door is looking at us oh that door it's right there already it's so close it's still looking at me you okay bro clever so the door just opens for any just opens if it senses people nearby, but they but can't see them. Huh, okay. In my Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Brooke Moscow, stop geeking out. Like I get it, I get it, but we got shit to do. You know, so save it for on the go or later. I cannot believe I met a goblin. You did. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this name. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Get your ass in here, let's go. I still can't believe we're inside a real vacuum. What did they do? What did I do? Ah. Ooh, what's this? Okay, what happens if I go this way? I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Well, glad you're enjoying the, the tour. Get Get on the damn platform. Jeez. Let's go. Maybe you should stay back there. I need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgok, to say the least. I deserve better than patrol duty. Watch your step round here. I can't take them out one by one. They're too close together. Oh shit, whoops. But come on, don't make me use there we go. That was a little more than I'm used to. Let us throw this thing for a minute. Bro, you my word. They're pretty good though. They're being watched. By a door. Oh, okay, that's right. What, what, what does that do? He won't get through as long as we can be seen. Well, I know. I. That's one to know what that means. Eeny, eeny. Eeny. Oh, so we can't cast spells while we're still in and stay invisible. Okay. What did I do? Uh, 
I don't see any change. like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Oh, really? Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around Guessing that's it right there. Let me go look around, though. Right. Let's just get the plans. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. I'll be quiet. Oh, so much for being quiet. Ah, yeah, I gotta do it. The last loyalist. Unfortunate, really. I'd imagine most go fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. <laughs> the flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? What could they be building in D? Let's find out. Wait, wait. Why? Does it look like I'm supposed to go this way, but. Why? Yeah. Okay, that's down here then. There. Here we go. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. J what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. That was that was a great, you know. Great deduction. Yeah, there. Hello? If you're there. Night. Thank you. One then. Really is too much. Stay well, close. You did fine. I've handled much worse. This place is more complex than I had expected. Rebellion. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So there's that. What does that do? Akira. So many of these potions around. Not complaining, I'm just staying. There's a lot. <laughs> okay, what's next? Ooh. Rebellion. 
cool. Hmm. Okay, so... Oh, you know I'm gonna, you know I'm gonna collect, you know I'm gonna collect shit. Can I, oh, can I kill you? Devil's snare, nasty stuff if we're not careful. Oh right, right, this shit. Not an entanglement we need right now. Can bring them. Accio. So this is just for the gather the stuff. This that's all that's in here. Okay. Rebellion. What else? Good bring up. There we go. But I really don't need to, to be collecting those anymore. I have so many already. Yes, I think I do. Well, might as well. Oh my god. How many 
of them are there? That should be the last of them, I'll meet. We're good, bro. Or something. Oh, I got something better. Oh, right. I know, I know. First one. You'll see. It's not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger mm -hmm. than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lobcock what we found. Let's do it. Revelio. Akio. Tracing our steps. There is. I already opened the area. Or the the way to it. Here we go. <laughs> okay, cool. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, I'll meet him. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Akio. Bro, why am I still collecting these? How many do I have already together? All together. I wonder. Ah. Uh. <laughs> He's. I think we're good. Yeah. We're almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. And we are. Oh, hold on. There's gotta be something at the end of this, right? Talk about what just happened. Yeah, that bro. Wasn't so up? bad, was it? It was. It really was. Mm. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. Damn. For a lifetime, perhaps. <laughs> Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, you if you fine, don't bro. mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your yeah. goblin secrets are safe with me, cool, but I get cool. to write the book about this escapade someday. Fair enough. Can I get? Can I get without some? Without further ado, you know, cut. You. When your book goes, you know, viral and shit, can I get, can I get, you know, a cut? Like, it's about, I mean, I'm in it too, like, come on, bro. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. Mm -hmm. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, okay. I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about Good something question. else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? Bex, good I question. I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. Okay. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. Okay. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. Mm. Nope. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Uh-oh. Wait. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. Ah. Uh. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. Hmm. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted really to now. work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. Mm. He told me of her research. And I know of the container. Yep. <sighs> it's all come full circle now. The reverence with which she talked Almost. to goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. Okay. 
I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. Uh -huh. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways. Nice. With her promising to share what she'd learned. And did she? More of Renrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Okay, that sounds cool. Renrock right? was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Oh, why'd you tell him? That doesn't sound like a good idea. Trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. Oh, you think Renrock murdered her? Probably. I don't want to believe it, but. I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. Mm. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. Oh. Uh. I could no longer remain a part of it. Oh, thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. You got it, dude. You got it, dude. Ranrock okay. never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor mm. at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me okay. deeply. Okay. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. Ooh. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. You got it, dude. Bruh, shit got real quick. We may be ready for a war. Okay, cool. Sir. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. <sighs> Most troubling. I need a new are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the <coughs> next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the <coughs> time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. Damn. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. We'll do it. We got it. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. Be easy. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Here we go. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps to do. Hmm. Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Yes. What's up, bro? Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, yep. like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. Mm. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. 
Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? He knew Miriam. They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was hmm. doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Damn. Despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. Mm. I want to hear more of this. Skill. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. Oh, it's one of those monkey things. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Moon thingies in the background. It's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will yeah. he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. Well, shit. I have just the thing. Okay. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, okay. doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. Okay. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. But seriously? Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the ministry on his behalf. Bro, what now, the... Now, <laughs> time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Okay. Ew. Oh. That's a... That's a change. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've okay. taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As Appreciate we discussed, it. you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might Great. look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. <laughs> Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him when to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. Okay. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. Mm. <laughs> I'll see you there. Even the distraction, now, I go to the, the thing. House elf. Gotcha. Can I? I cannot. I can't use the flame, the flues, the flu flamies. Those. Do you have a moment, Professor? Oh, Professor, I was oh, hoping shit. to catch you. I. Oh, I um. Places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, yeah, bro. <clears throat> you asked me about a particular <clears throat> person, and I, well, I. I did. I did. Yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Just tell me. I will decide what's best. <laughs> I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. <laughs> I brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> of course, laughing. Yes. No need for the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student <laughs> deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. <laughs> I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> Bro, what the... Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <laughs> you call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Damn. I <laughs> haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. It is I, the headmaster. Mm, yes, quite. Out of my way, everybody. I wonder almost daily why I... Headmaster? Yeah. What could he want? Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> yes. The future Professor, a word? Ah, shit. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. 
It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Okay. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. <laughs> that you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? Damn. I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Bro, he, he said... <laughs> he, said you're, he said your game was silly, yeah. Like... Please do. That would be unwise. Okay, no, let's not. Let's I this guy think up. you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I. Good day, Professor. <clears throat> and I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm. I wonder Makes why. Sense. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Where's my elf? <clears throat> in the Great Hall. I to deserve him as a when I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I. Uh, I. S simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk to anyone. Speak with me. Consult my secretaries or what? Professor, a word. No, please. speak to my secretaries. Hello, Professor. Uh. Ah, Professor Weasley. How how delightful to see you, sir. Ah, uh, since I have you here, I uh. wonder if I might um speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with oh. his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? Oh. I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. And I don't miss him. Damn. He's handling secret ministry matters. Don't worry about it. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, sir, if that. I may... I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, <laughs> supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Talking about me? Everything from sneaking into the <laughs> Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? Sneaking? <laughs> Goodness. We do it so you often. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Um, <laughs> thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good. Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Damn. We acting so strange. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. <laughs> Well, they're, buy they're buying it. to give Professor so. Fig some breathing room? Uh... Wait until Master sees what a wonderful job Scrope is doing. Scrope. What's up, homie? Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind You're missing me of the passwords to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. Seriously? I changed my mind. You dare question me? How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Bro. Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's to do with my family's reign. Uh, purity of blood. It's to do with strength. Let's go with... Um, probably, let's, let's just... It's... Pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, <coughs> in French. In French. Ah, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most oh. pitiful. Oh. oh uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Toujours Thank you. pure. Never speak of this conversation right. with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrub, Scrub, come on, he... best to keep out of Master's way. He just... Ugh. Oh. Where's this? The oh. Of potions wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ahem. Attention, students. I hereby decree... <laughs> Ugh. 
I'll do that later. I remember. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. Okay. I can't believe it worked. And nobody noticed. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Where I went. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Okay. Just for the password. In French. Toujours pure. <clears throat> well, we did it. I guess our French isn't too bad. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Hmm, the bad one will have the 11. 11. A lock spell. Oh well, not worried about it. It's good to see you. What's All up? Thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Okay. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. Oh boy. We shall speak when you are finished. <clears throat> Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Right. Oh boy. Of course. We went into the book. We're travelers. We're book travelers. Where am Ooh. I? Ooh. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Cool. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need. All right, cool. But uh, real quick, we're gonna we're gonna end this episode here. We'll get to, we'll get to this next episode, and yeah, I am leaving it on the cliffhanger. Yeah. But anyway, you know what it is. After that, in case I don't see you, and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace and much love to you.